Oh. Hola, hola, hola. How is everyone doing out there? I hope you're doing well. My name is Shauna Hibbs, and I am an author, motivational speaker, podcast host, facilitator, bilingual, early childhood specialist of over 25 plus years. Yo hablas inglés, español también. And I am known as the inner child whisperer. Welcome to another week of reflections another week of reflections where we look in the mirror and we ask the hard questions do you love sunglasses no that's not the question of the week but i do i love sunglasses every type every shade <laughs> just had to put that plug in there aren't these cute oh my goodness looking in the mirror for reflections i need to be looking directly into my soul so i'm going to take these off the question of the week is, is there anyone I need to forgive? Is there anyone I need to forgive? There was a time where I had a lot of people that I needed to forgive. And I went through that phase of forgiving them, moving past all of the hurt and the pain that was associated with that. Because I understand that forgiveness is not about the other person, it's about yourself. It's about freeing yourself, releasing yourself from that situation or circumstance because it ends up holding you and paralyzing you in life and it's not worth it. You can't continue to do your purpose, you can't continue to be all you can be, you cannot be your best if you are holding on and you're not forgiving other people. If you are in that space still, it's okay, it's okay. If you are unable to speak to that person, you can always write a letter, keep it for yourself, and you can forgive them that way. It's all about releasing yourself, especially if it's someone that may not be walking on this earth. If you feel compelled to want to speak to that person and let them know how you feel and it's a safe thing to do, and you should do it. It's a very freeing, freeing experience. If you're not in that space, congratulations. Because <laughs> working and rocking the purpose is so much easier without that weight on you. I went many years with that type of weight. Although I don't have a specific person outside of myself to forgive, I actually have some forgiveness to do for myself personally. And this has to do with grief and unexpectedly losing my husband three years ago, which this upcoming week, March 24th, will mark three years um, that my husband transitioned and I cared for him at home from a wheelchair with hospice. Because as many of you know, I couldn't walk for a year. I injured myself at the same time that my husband got sick. The forgiveness part that I'm working on for myself has to do with wanting to live life to the fullest, wanting to have fun, and frankly, moving on with my life. I try to hold and stick a pin in it for a long time. I try to drag it. I try to stay in the same space because I felt guilty about living even at the beginning, I felt guilty about eating and drinking water and just moving forward after he transitioned. And now three years later, I'm doing much better in my mind, body, and soul because I'm doing the inner work. I took two years of bereavement therapy. I had two leg surgeries to get myself to be able to walk and be in the best space. And I'm mentally working on myself every single day. Outside of that, there's still a small part of me that feels guilty and feels bad that I want to have fun and I want to continue my life without my husband being here physically. We were, you know, we were, we known each other for a long time, like 25, 26 years. We were together for 24 years and it's, it's, it's not an easy space to be a young widow. Let's just say that. I'm, I'm a work in progress, just like everyone else is out here. And I'm going to continue to work on that. I'm going to continue to push myself through and tell myself that it's okay to have fun, that it's 
okay to live your life. It's okay to move on. It doesn't mean that you're forgetting him. It doesn't mean that you're forgetting your life. Grief has positives and it has some negative things to it. And that's one of the negatives is that it grief can tell you lies and you have to make sure that you're doing the inner work to make sure that you understand what your truth is. That is my answer this week. I would like to know, is there someone you need to forgive in your life? Thank you for listening to this reflection video. If it resonated with you, please feel free to share it out. And I will see you next week for another reflection video series. Wepa, baby. Ciao, baby.